Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So you might have seen in the video intro or the channel trailer that I've put together this do-it-yourself solar panel out of 40 of these little solar cells. And uh, initially it worked really well. I was able to get around 30 watts off it, which isn't bad really. Uh, but sadly, quite recently, uh, there was a fair bit of wind and we see all of these solar cells down here, they just fell out. A couple of them broke, this one. This one broke a little bit as well. So what I thought I'd do today is repair it with the 30 or so um, intact ones that are left. I'm going to wire them all up in series and see if I can fix the solar panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut off all the broken ones. Just like this. So now that all the broken ones are out, I'll take uh, take that one there, put it in that gap, and then maybe I'll even take this row, slide it out, and put it into this gap, and then I'll have a nice big chunk of all of the cells. Hopefully I'll be able to generate something like 15 volts if I put them all together in series, open circuit voltage that is. We'll cut this one off. Slide this one out carefully because this is a, an intact one. Actually, that won't slide out the bottom, will it? Oh no, there we are. Intact solar cell, and I'll put over here. Hopefully, I'll be able to slide that in. I'll get that done now. Now that that's in place, I'll cut these top power lines off so that I can wire all these cells together, and then finally, I'll slide these out put them in over here. Power lines are gone. Just slide this set out, put them back in over here. There it is, out of the slot. There we are. Slotted into the right position. Only thing left to do now is solder it all up. I've got them going so that the voltage increases as we go down and then back up and then down and up and down and up. So I should be able to start off with the negative end there and the positive end right over here. Alright, I'll start soldering. Alright, that's all done. Got it all soldered up. Got, see, negative line here comes in. We've got all of these cells in series and then all the way up to here where we've got the positive line going out. What I've got on the positive line, I've got these two little diodes to stop any reverse current. So if I'm charging a battery or something, I don't want the battery to push current back through the solar cells when there's shade over them. I've actually got two diodes in parallel, which I know you shouldn't really do, but I thought, well, it's better than having the diode burn out from too much current. They are 10 amp diodes, but I don't know, I thought it was just safer to have two in parallel. So what I'll do now is hot glue some of these wires in place, stop the wind from blowing the cells out again, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you what it can do. It's a pretty sunny day today, actually, so Probably perfect conditions for showing off the solar panel. Just to check all my solder connections, I've connected the solar panel up to my multimeter. So I set that to voltage and I'm getting around 13 volts. Yep. So that just shows me that all my solder connections that I made are all good. I actually realised that I'm all out of uh, hot glue, so I'm going to tape the wires in place with this electrical tape.
Now that that's all done, I'll go put it in the sun and see how much power we can get off it. So I've just put the solar panel in the sun and I've got some uh, wires here coming off so that we can now test the amount of current and voltage that we can get off the panel. So I'll just connect up the multimeter. So I'll switch the multimeter to voltage and you can see we're getting around about yeah, 17 volts, so that's open circuit voltage. I'll change it to current now to get the short circuit current. And we're getting around about, yep, around about three amps, uh, two and a half. I got four before, that's a little bit weird. The sun's gone down a little bit since then. It is kind of mid-winter, you can probably see. The sun's not up very high. But, seeing as we're generating power, I've set up my hydrogen generator and I want to kind of see how much hydrogen I can generate just off what my solar panel is producing. Alright, now the hydrogen generator is hooked up and I've got my multimeter set to current. You can see we're already generating around 2, 2.1 amps. That's going straight into the hydrogen generator. You can probably see here in the bubbler all the hydrogen is slowly bubbling through. It's not as good as just powering it off just a straight 12 volt power supply, but the solar panel is actually pretty good. I'll measure the voltage and then we can calculate what the wattage is that I'm getting off right now. I've got the multimeter to measure voltage now and you can see we're getting around 11 volts at 2 amps, so that's around 22 watts and I'm getting off these 30 cells. That's about what I expected. The voltage is steadily lowering due to the resistance of the electrolysis in my hydrogen generator slowly lowering as well. So I'll leave that going for a while and see how much current we can get going. Hopefully generating a fair bit of hydrogen gas. Now I've left it a little bit too long. Now there's a bit of shadow covering the solar panel. So it's the middle of winter even though it's 3 o'clock. And the sun's kind of already setting a little bit but now the voltage has gone down all the way to what three and a half let's check the current so I'll switch that to current and I'll see how much we're getting nothing oh no wait a sec 300 milliamps it's not much. Yep, so even when you cover just a little bit of the solar panel with shadow, it really, really kind of it's really detrimental to the amount of power you can get off it. But I put a bag on the hydrogen generator and I'll see. Yeah, tiny little bit of gas. But maybe in a future video I'll try to actually generate a whole bag of hydrogen just with my solar panel. Well, with 30 or so of these solar cells, I'm able to generate around about 22 watts. Maybe that'll be even greater if we got a little bit more sunlight one day. Or maybe that'll be another video. Catch you next time.